hey guys welcome to or welcome back to my channel i'm nisa priscilla if you're new here and you didn't know and if you did know thanks for tuning in as you can tell by the title of today's video we are hopping into another atlanta a luxury apartment tour this one is in midtown right off of spring and 10th street and it just opened up not too long ago so let's just get right into the tour so like i said it's off of spring street and 10th street if you are an atlanta native or you're familiar with the area you know that Spring Street is a absolute mess at this moment. And so that entrance off of 10th Street would be very helpful if you did choose to move here. Um, the leasing agent let us know that there are 500 amenity spaces. And if you haven't seen a tour by me, uh, you'll learn in this one that I'm going to show you all uh, everything that there is to see. There's a rooftop on the 10th and 11th floor. There's a two floor gym, which I did see with my own eyes and you will see shortly. And there are 370 units, 29 floors of building. Um, right now they have a two months free. So your second month and your seventh month. So that's one, two, that second month. And then six, seven, that seventh month would be free. There are gates for the parking garage and you'll have a parking decal and you can also have a code for guest parking so they can pay half of the parking price or you can just purchase a monthly visitor pass if you plan to have a lot of visitors and want them to be able to park for free. This particular unit that we just walked into is the BJ2 floor plan on the website. It's a one bedroom with a den and its monthly rate is currently three thousand one hundred forty six dollars i guess a reminder obviously the second and seventh month would be free um and then after this we are going to see a bj3 which is pretty much the same floor plan just better lighting better natural sunlight and that one's three thousand two hundred twenty eight dollars a month so i'll let you guys enjoy this and potentially a little bit of the next one it's the same exact floor plan just with more windows and then we'll get into the others afterwards I know how I got me buying again. Friends ain't jacking me, you must be lying to your friends. They know I'm a beast, I wait the giants up again. Shining once again. Ran it up, I told them I'ma shout in my DMs. I'm right back in. Locked in. Shotty got that dust on, so the block is hot again. Think so when I hit it, sound like fuck her ass, yeah. Got her ass again. Then she got it tripping off another yet again. Got a nigga feeling like a sucker yet again. Close on my emotions, then I rush and let her in. Hurry up and let her in. I'ma take a bougie ass to Odell and then let her pick up whatever she want. CC Gucci, he gon' take up whatever she want. She pissed me off somehow, she still get whatever she want. Talking about her nails, I'm finna nail her ass at home. Hit it in the shower, made her tell me what she want. Like I'm singing maze, I made her tell me what she want. <laughs> So as you can see in this one, same exact floor plan, but the windows positioned a little differently because there's another one on the other side of the wall, which we're about to see. And it gives you more of a city view as opposed to the view that we had in the previous one. So just a bump in price, but for more light and a better view. One of the things that I appreciate the most about these units, and I pray that I depicted it in the video, once you step outside of the kitchen and more into the living space, the ceiling opens up tremendously. So it makes you feel like you have a lot more space um, and a lot more height in the living room and kind of opens up the space in a way that isn't the same or isn't open in that kitchen area. I hope that I show that in this video, but you guys are just going to have to trust me, okay? <laughs> it's a beautiful, beautiful 
beautiful floor plan. Now we're heading into the BJ1 floor plan, which is a two bedroom for $3,085 a month. This brought a lot of character to me. When we walked in, he was like, try and find the kitchen. And did I think that the kitchen would be immediately or almost immediately to your left? No, I didn't. So it took me a little second to find it. <laughs> but I really love the spunkiness of this one. It's not your average floor plan. It still has a lot of space, um, but it's just more fun than, you know, your average two bedroom. I have one bedroom on one side of the apartment, which we're about to head over to. And then you'll see me head over to the other side of the apartment for, you know, your guest bedroom or your office, however you would like to set it up. And the views are immaculate in this unit. I really like this one. Just to note, the first three that we've seen so far are on the ninth floor. So moving up, you could have better views. Um, completely up to you. But yeah, lots of closet space as well. I think you'll see why I say this before I say it. But I think with this complex, you get what you're paying for. I know I sound crazy. Wait till you see the amenities. I know I sound crazy, but just wait for it. This last floor plan is the BHJ1. It's a two bedroom and we are now up on the 13th floor. And this obviously looks similar to your average two bedroom. It's more spacious though. So if you're looking for space, it is more spacious. Um, it feels a little more roomy and a little more homey. And it's more so your basic floor plan, which works. The closet space is perfect. There's a lot of space. So if you're interested in this one, that'll be your BHJ1. Friends ain't jacking me, you must be lying to your friends They don't want my bees, I'll wait the giants up again Shining once again Ran it up, I told them I'm a shot in my DMs I'm right back in now Locked in Shawty got that dress on, so the block is hot again Think so when I hit it, sound like fuck a head, look Gotta act smart, I'm not in your head, look Then she got it tripping off another yet again Got a nigga feeling like a sucker yet again Close on my emotions, I'm not in your head, look Gotta act smart, I'm not in your head, look Then she got it tripping off another yet again Got a nigga feeling like a sucker yet again Close on my emotions, then I rush and let her in. Hurry up and let her in. I'ma take a bougie ass to Odell and then let her pick up whatever she want. CC Gucci, he both take up whatever she want. She pissed me off, so I just to get whatever she want. Talking about a nigga, I'm finna nail her ass at home. Hit it in the shot, made her tell me what she want. Like I'm singing, Mace, I made her tell me what she want. <laughs> In this clip right here, we were talking about how the office building to the left is connected to the complex and their office spaces and somehow. But this building to the right is going to be like a food hall. So if you've ever been to Chattahoochee Food Works in the Howell Mill area, it's gonna be similar to that with just a bunch of different restaurants available for your taking. And on our way out of the parking garage, we noticed this little entrance where you can actually walk directly across the street and you'll be right there. So you essentially don't have to leave your complex. You don't have to get into your car in order to get food. That's such a plus because, you know, traffic oftentimes makes me look like I'm thinking maybe I'll just eat some chips for dinner. I don't want to leave my house. So this is a major, major plus. <laughs> Can face 
Now let's get into these amenities. <laughs> a rooftop is a rooftop. We love a good rooftop. Um, you can see Georgia Tech's stadium practice field. Um, you can see the traffic on 75. I was so enamored by that because, um, wow, it's amazing to see it from up above. But that has nothing on this green room that we're about to get into, okay? All of the plants are real in the green room outside of the ones hanging from the ceiling. This is the ultimate room for peace and tranquility. The furniture is perfect. The colors of the walls, perfect. The views, we're about to see Stone Mountain. We're looking at Stone Mountain. I mean, what more could you need? Like, if I'm stressed out with my work day, I'm just gonna head down to the green room and catch a vibe. This is perfect. I absolutely love this room. I love the couch. I love everything about this specific room. The huge table and the kitchen and cooking utensils and quite the balcony. Then I got a little a little overwhelmed. He said, wrap it back in because we don't start there. And I said, yes, you got it. So let's head out to another rooftop, um, which is, again, poster for peace and tranquility. You all see the water streams. Uh, if you think that they're making peaceful streams of water sounds, they are. We were just talking entirely too much. And so I don't want you all to be uh, bogged down with the conversation that we were having. But he was saying that people come up here to tan. They come up here, they take a nap because it's just that relaxing. They get some work done out here. And so this is just, again, this complex just screams peaceful. Like it screams you never, ever really want to leave your house. And if you really think about it, who lives in, you know, this area of Atlanta and feels like going outside to deal with traffic? You don't have to here. Uh, you can just literally get all the peace and rest that you need while you're here. And so from there, we loop around and lead into a, another space, which is kind of like a gaming space. Uh, there were people in there and I didn't want to record them, but there were games like chess and Jenga and there were books and there was a TV. So more of an indoor relaxing uh, board game space for you to invite friends and you know have fun with your people and then we're heading outside to another lounge area which is going to be more of a rustic vibe there is a fireplace the tv those 
pillars and the walls are going to be more of a stone look as opposed to this unfinished look which you know unfinished doesn't look too bad uh but maybe it doesn't fit the vibe <laughs> i think the stone is going to look really good and we pivot over to the pool which at the time wasn't open um due to like inspections or something because like i said the sora just recently opened up but we do have the pool i appreciate how inclusive it is with the chair that kind of lowers one into the pool should they need it and the amenities do close at 10 p.m um so i wouldn't say that was my favorite part because the gym some people like to work out late at night but you know just the note the amenities do close at 10. i think that's a very small price to pay for <laughs> the amenities that you do get you can get it when I think about you, that's the first thing that come to my mind. I'm like, shout it, you can get it out, you can get it out. There's a yoga room. They have yoga on Wednesdays. There's a sauna. There are two private fitness rooms. There's an arts and crafts room for you to make your own paintings, do your own artsmanship. There's a movie theater that you can connect your cell phone to and stream from your respected streaming services into the movie theater for a movie night or if you just want to hang out and watch a movie like you're at the movie theaters and don't want to leave your house to pay for it i mean like what more could one ask for you know there's truly nothing more that i have to say i'm just dropping the mic <laughs> i hope you guys enjoyed this tour if you apply to the sora or if you express interest let them know that you saw my video i don't know i don't have any um like ulterior mood motives for that i just want more people to see my tours because i think i do a really good job and you guys tell me i do so i appreciate you for watching if you're getting in the sora congratulations you've won <laughs>